my name is Father James Mallon, and I'm your new parish priest. It may be a little strange to hear that on a video uh, rather than in person, but these are unusual and strange times. You know, since this time of pandemic, there is so much that's not familiar to us, so many normal ways of doing things that, are, that we just can't use. And, and so rather than meeting you all and shaking your hands or perhaps giving someone a few a hug after Mass, I'm using this time to get to know you a little bit, or at least for you to get to know me a little bit. I'm really excited to enter into this new phase of my life to return to being a pastor. I've been ordained for 23 years, and the last three years I've been working at the diocesan level, and this is really a return to parish life. Prior to working at the diocesan level, I was pastor of St. Benedict Parish in Clayton Park for seven years. So I've been ordained 23 years. I know it's hard to believe. Uh, and I was a pastor for 17 of those years. I love parish ministry and I'm so excited to be here. I'm actually excited to be back in Dartmouth. I'm actually a Dartmouth boy. Now some of you may discern a slight Scottish accent and, and if you do then congratulations because I actually was born and raised in Glasgow, Scotland. And when I was a baby, my grandmother moved with my aunt and uncle to a place called Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. And then a whole bunch of my other relatives moved to Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. So growing up in Scotland as a, a wee boy, I had a, a, a flag above my bed that said Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, with a picture of Dartmouth City Hall. Imagine that. And here I am now the pastor of, of that area. I moved with my family to Dartmouth in 1983, after a brief stint living in Cape Breton. And I grew up in Dartmouth, I went to Prince Andrew High School, my apologies for any of you who went to Dartmouth High, but I did go to the occasional Dartmouth High School dance, but I can't tell you any of those stories at all. But I grew up in Dartmouth and went to some of the parishes around here. I remember visiting St. Peter's Church when I was a kid and being amazed at the, this beautiful architecture, the church in the round. My first job, my first summer job was as a cook at the Wise Road Kentucky Fried Chicken. So if you ate Kentucky Fried Chicken from the Wise Road location in the late 80s, I might have cooked your chicken. How is that? That's amazing. I, I was actually saddened to see that it's no longer a Kentucky Fried Chicken, but anyway, these are all good memories to have. A lot of memories exist for me in, in these areas, and I look forward to seeing many more memories being made. Um, it's great to be back in Dartmouth and I have, I've got a lot of hope for the future, a lot of hope. I wouldn't be doing what I was doing if I didn't. But in the midst of that hope, I, I'm very much aware that there are a lot of challenges facing us. There were many challenges facing us before the pandemic. Many of you know that. But together, I think we can face these challenges and with the Lord with us, leading us and guiding us, giving us the courage and the perseverance that we need, we can go forward and build a new future uh, with a whole bunch of wonderful memories. I'm hoping to use this medium of video in the months ahead to create actually two videos per week. Now you might be thinking, good grief, I don't want to hear from this guy twice a week. Well, I guess you just don't have to watch it. <laughs> but I promise you that the videos will be five to six minutes in length. And and the first video I'd like to do is something a bit more personal like this. Something I would call coffee with Father James. Imagine if we could go for coffee once a week. Uh, or maybe you just want to grab a cup of coffee and watch the video. And I think that the first video is kind of like giving you my own insights and thoughts about what I see in the parish and, and the struggles and the trials ahead of us. And the other video I hope to do is basically a summary of the Sunday homily. This weekend we had just about 200 people at all of the three masses. Uh, Saturday mass we had 78 people, had 100 people at the Sunday morning, and 38 people on Sunday night. So I know that that's only just about 25 percent of the pre-COVID mass attendance. So that's why I want to do the second video, so that I can share a bit of the message with you. In order for this to work, we need to reach as many parishioners as possible. So I'm asking you to please, if you haven't already done so, sign up, give us your email address, go to our website, ourladyofguadalupe.ca, I believe it is, 
and sign up, give us your email address and help spread the word. Uh, send this video to your friends uh, who are people who are involved in the parish and ask them to sign up as well. Other than that, please pray for me. Uh, let's pray for our parish, for our future as we go forward together and be assured of my prayers for you. Daily prayers, when I pray the Liturgy of the Hours, I pray for all the parishioners and every time I celebrate the Eucharist. God bless you. Thank you.